So it is still the end of day 120. Well, it is the end of day 120 and it is still one, whatever. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> dears i'm about to go for a walk not a run today but i just want to let you know that i am really happy with where i am at my writing i just edited chapter one of project parallel and ended up adding like over 500 words extra and i'm really happy about that because i know project parallel ended up being a zero draft that was from what i read it was a uh, 27,993. <laughs> Um, and so I'm already on the wave that I need to be to add more information, show, and instead of tell, and such like that. So I'm really enjoying that part of the editing process, and I'm falling back in love with my story again. Um, not that I fell out of love, but I didn't, not being around it, I didn't realize how much I enjoyed writing that story, especially loving some of my characters' witticisms and such. I'm having, because it's not as dark, I mean, it is dark a little bit, but um, because it's not as dark as my first manuscript therapy sessions, I get to have a little bit more fun with Project Parallel, a little more like quips and snaps and such. So there's that, but edited, chapter one. Uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to edit chapter two because I'm also going to use the first two chapters as examples of how to critique someone's work. So I'm going to have to pretend that it's not mine <laughs> um, when I read it. Um, so I'm going to do that for a workshop coming up. And I also need to create my thumbnails and create the stream yard streams for those workshops so hopefully I can get it done so for that I'm gonna go walk bye it is the end of day 120 um don't mind the kitty this is what my daughter had me pack in my suitcase and bring with me so I did that um today I was able to do two chapters of Project Parallel and watch a movie now it is like almost seven o'clock at night so i got three hours that i need to try to stay awake as i completely lay in bed with a fleece on oh i'm not setting myself up for good things right now um but i think what i'm gonna do is i have a video to edit and that I think I'm gonna try to put up before this video goes up. So if you see an author tube shout out video, that's the video I'm talking about. With that, I think, yeah, I think I'm good for the day. I've been meaning to read. Um, I brought one flew over the cuckoo's nest with me. Oh. Let me go ahead and show you all the books I brought. Okay, so One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I'm still on, like, page 30. Ah, the other videos I have, as I try to get up, I'm quite sore. I've been working out every day. I'm setting it on the books right now. This is going to be bad. But either way. All right, so first, the books that I'm... First, the books that I plan to read. So this book um, was on the shelf, and I just grabbed it because... It was there and I hear everyone talk about the author so I grabbed Nora Roberts Cordenia's family Bennett and Camellia so apparently this is it yeah two classic tales of royal love and palace intrigue so the first one is the playboy prince and the second one is Cordenia's crown jewel so two books in one it's free. I'm not stealing. Okay, let me just peg that. Now, this other book is in my soft spot. Books that I will always buy are books about animals, and especially if it's a true story. I really love true stories, especially when they're written in like a novel format. 
So I got this book called Thunderdog, the, tr the true story of a blind man, his guide dog, and the triumph of trust. I, oh, I'm a sucker for those. Um, I read a story about Renton 10. I read this story called Until Tuesday about a military veteran um, getting a service dog to help with his PTSD. I've read Dewey about a cat that was adopted by a library. And I read, I think the book was called A Cat Named Fred or something, but it was this homeless guy who ended up getting a cat by chance and the cat would actually like stand on his shoulders and such. He had a battle with addiction and of course once his cat got a little famous people tried to like buy the cat and he's like no. That was a good story. It also did become a movie played by the same guy and like the cat so I thought that was kind of cool. These next two books or the rest of the books that I'm about to tell you are books that I actually brought with me. And when, as I finish them, I plan to send them back home. The first one is The God Queen. Uh, this is by M.L. Tishner. She is a um, indie author. My mother has read that book and she even asked me to look up when the next in the series is gonna come up. So I will share with you my mother's take on it. She said at times it felt juvenile, but the larger premise she did enjoy and could see the thought that went into it. Since I do also like nonfiction, this is called The Woman Who Smashed Codes. And I've already talked about this story on this channel. The other books I have is The Elements of Style. This is, it says new edition. This is the fourth edition. So I got that. Um, psychology Workbook for Writers. I have not opened this one at all. <laughs> Save the Cat Writes a Novel. Now, I don't feel like I really need this one right now because right now I'm in the editing phase of my stories but if I happen to get a story idea while I'm gone I'll totally do it. Now we're about to get a little crazy because the books that I was using to support my phone I'm kind of need to pull out. So I got this one the emotional thesaurus. Emotion thesaurus. I actually kind of like it. I actually need to open that while I'm editing because my go-to to show agreement is nodding and stuff like that and I I need to change that up. Now this one has been really helpful. Since my novel is really dark, I have the Emotional Wound Thesaurus. And it's actually much thicker than the Emotion Thesaurus. I'm just saying. But uh, both of these, I'm really glad I've got them. I've skimmed through them. What I like about them is that it's just search for what you need. Uh, and it'll work out. Either way, I got my, those are the books I brought with me. And then of course, in true me fashion, I grabbed two more books while I'm here. There was a John Grisham novel somewhere in there. Uh, and I thought about grabbing it just because I don't think I've read any John Grisham novels. I'm kind of like looking for novels that are probably older. But these older stories are by novelists that are very revered so I figured give them a chance. Of course I still have my soft spot for animals and true stories and um, uh, and if a if a book has been turned into a tv show or a movie I'm all over it because I'll read the book first or the series and then watch watch it. So right now, even though I went a little out of order on this, I audiobook wise, I just finished the first um, of the Witcher series, The Last Wish. Just finished that one. And I plan to start the second book. I'm just doing that audiobook wise. That's usually what I listen to while I'm running. So I'm going to end this and I'll let y'all know when things change. Because right now I gotta I got a video to edit, 
and I got some thumbnails to create. So there's that. Bye. It is day 121, 1 a.m. because I fell asleep with the blanket on the pillow. I need to get up, brush my teeth, go to the bathroom, and then go back to bed. Talk to y'all later. It is day 122 of Mel Wordy. I have edited a chapter of a story that I'm, uh, not my story, of someone else's story, as well as put some comments in. I did one chapter. I really need to do more because uh, she's been patient and I've been sitting on this for a bit, but she also knows I've been traveling, so. I finished recording, but now I have to edit my December review video where I'm also gonna throw in my 2021 goals into that video, so. I gotta finish editing that. I've edited this video up to now <laughs> um, and re-laughed at myself for falling asleep again. I wouldn't even call it falling asleep, I call it like crashing. My body just going, you know what? You're going to sleep now. <laughs> yeah, so I got some film editing to do, but I also need to work out with the gal group like I do every afternoon. So I think what I'll do is edit what I can and then just pause it and get back to it after I'm done with that. And I also have a bonus video coming up today at 7 a.m. Eastern. Yeah, because today's the 31st and it's my AuthorTube shout out video. And I'm kind of proud of the thumbnail, mostly because I was wearing this shirt and it looks like Totoro's shouting. So I thought that was kind of playful on my part. <laughs> And oh, and I finished my slides and my slide notes for the what to look for while you're critiquing uh, workshop that I'm gonna do. So there's that. And if you're watching this, uh, I guess I could go ahead and plug it up there because it will have already aired by now. <laughs> and yeah, things are going good. I'm not hitting the average words per day the 5,400 something that I should be, but I'm at least doing a little bit every day. So I'm happy with it. Either way, I guess uh, right now I just see editing videos in my future. So day one and 22 in the bag. Hello dears, day 126. I haven't been doing much. I skipped 125, 124, and I'm pretty sure also 123, but I'm gonna show you the spreadsheet now so you can see it's not that bad i still got a cushion i just really wasn't feeling up to much of anything for a bit there so either way here's the walkthrough and spreadsheet time week 18 not that great but let's compare that to the grand total page on the grand total page wait january's blank i did some words oh 34 not 35 okay back to this now let's see how this compares overall because you can't be too hard on yourself. So we're going to take this, multiply it by 126, and I get 690,000 minus 724, 34,097. I'm okay with that. I mean, yeah, I had like 50 something thousand the other day, but it's fine. Uh, the snapshot, not that great because I only got one day of it, so there's that. <laughs> Same thing over here, editing kind of took over, and here, oh shoot, let me add January. Go to select data, click add, call it January, no, call it January, that's the title, and let me go select my days. By the way, if you want to do it this way, you have to select 1 through 31. You can't go, like, scroll up. You have to scroll down. And there it is. And the little blip. So with that, let's end this. Walkthrough's done. This video might go up late because there's some stuff going on. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna just go ahead and say bye. This is good. I'm still doing good. I'm taking care of myself and I'll uh, talk to y'all next Tuesday. I might 
I'm thinking about doing some other videos, like do batch videos of different things and switching my Mawardy vlog to just monthly. I might do that. I'll let you know. Bye.